Okay, today is my 33 month update on my ALF spinal fusion surgery L5S1. And I just wanted to give you kind of an update on kind of where I am um, and how I'm doing from, from day to day. And I tell you what, I feel like I'm 100% recovered. Um, I kind of want to walk you through this. And somebody had replied or commented most recently, it's a uh, Miguel uh, 8376, and they had some really great questions. Uh, concerning um, the surgery, kind of where I'm at right now, what kind of activities that I'm doing. So I, I thought it would be a good opportunity to, to go ahead and make an update video. Uh, I am extremely busy this morning, but I wanted to knock this out to, uh, to kind of provide this because it seems like I never have enough time. But at any rate, um, he starts off by saying, hey, thanks for the videos and sharing the experience with us. Really appreciate it. No worries. Uh, I'm quite in the same situation considering the ALIF surgery at 33 year old after two previous microdisectomies in the past. Mentally strong, I am waiting a year and a half with severe radial and lower back pain and a lot of limitations in my life as we've all had um, with back problems uh, L5S1. Also I wanted to try everything before going into the operating room completely convinced Discovering now that everything never ends and I'm sure if time is in my, and I'm not sure if time is in my favor or not at this point. Some people and professionals insist on a conservative management and avoiding surgery at all costs and others are saying that I'm doing more harm by waiting mainly in the nerves uh, if I'm putting this surgery off. Well, just being quite frankly, I, you know, I, we've all been there, and I think at this point in time, you're kind of at your wit's end, and there will be a point where you will say enough is enough. I can't go on any more than, you know, I can't go on 10, 20, 30 years with this pain, with the chronic pain that you're having. Um, and quite honestly, I mean, I went through the pain management. Um, I, I had the cortisone shots. I even tried, you know, going to a chiropractor for a, a while, um, it, the pain just persisted and you know I tried to do everything before I did surgery so I, I can't, uh, but there is a limit to how much personally I, I can I can take and all that I can do before I went into the surgery. Um, my microdisectomies I think I waited too long so this one uh, on the spinal fusion surgery I, um, I did want to knock that out relatively quickly after uh, I, kind of felt like the microdisectomy necessarily wasn't a failure because my pain in the extremities uh, was relieved, but the, the, the back pain in, in general, but I just wanted to go ahead and, and do it. So I think that you're at that point right now, uh, Miguel, that you could probably consider doing the surgery regardless of your, of your age. Having watched your videos, I have some questions. In the beginning, you were quite enthusiastic and talk a, a lot about running, including marathons and construction works. Well, I certainly did, um, and I still do. Uh, as you can see behind me, I am still doing a lot of work around the house. I got into this project, unfortunately, um, in the backyard. But I will say that I am completely healed and I have absolutely no limitations whatsoever. Um, this here is five tons. Okay, now I've moved 33 tons of gravel to the backyard with a wheelbarrow and a shovel. Um, call me crazy, but well, I might be crazy, but um, I just wanted to. I know that I could do it. Um, I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying that so to let you know that I'm 100%. There's nothing that that I can't do. I am unlimited. Uh, regarding the, the running, I can run. I've ran 10 miles at the most. The thing of it is, is I can't, I can't run my long run days. Moving this kind of material on the weekends and then having a long run day and running 10, 15, or 20 miles is just a recipe for disaster. I remember even when I was healthy, uh, I used to run uh, the same 10, 15, 20 miles on the weekends on a Saturday or a Sunday, I'd come home and then I'd mow the lawn and I'd wonder why my IT band starts hurting. And then I'd, it put me out for the next you know two or three weeks. So 
I'm just trying to be careful about it. Not I mean, just in general, not it has nothing to do with my back. I just there's only so much work that you can you can possibly do. So I think I've kind of reached that limit. So that being said, I'm going to have to defer. Um, oh, I kind of got ahead of myself, but I did sign up for the Marine Corps Marathon this year, and I, I've been running uh, approximately 20 miles a week um, in a cumulative running. But uh, again, I'm going to have to defer. Um, I'm going to have to defer just because I got so much work ahead of me here. Uh, I got to knock this out. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to defer until next year. But my enthusiasm is still there. And again, I, I, I'm absolutely 100% recovered. Uh, he continues, if that's right, could you please mention the reason for the change of the approach? Uh, long-term limitations either work physical activities or activities of daily life is something that really re this is something that really worries me especially considering my my young age and i would really appreciate your opinion on something that has already walked through that this way uh, again um i would i would probably do the surgery and, and if you're at that point where you can't bear the pain anymore um probably a pretty good idea I would just get a couple of opinions uh, before I, I did that going on could you also explain a little bit uh, about the physical activities you're doing as well at this time your 32 month or 33 month and uh, how your daily life is like listen again I'm 100 percent um, I'm 100 percent I am going to say that you're not going to, you're going to have to put the work in. You're not going to wait 33 months sitting on the couch waiting for your body to recover and then one day you're going to be pain free and you're going to have no limitations. You're going to have to do the work, meaning um, you're going to have to do your walking as soon as uh, you come home from the doctor's office and then you're going to have to start doing the stretches, you're going to have to start putting in the, the physical therapy sessions and really working and pushing some of those limitations um, smartly but uh, confidently moving forward. Uh, one more thing too about my approach. My approach has not changed at all and if it may have seemed like it did, uh, please don't get that confused for confidence and just being patient. Being patient knowing that I have no limitations. I will say that uh, I did. Um, I do work out almost every single day. Uh, I do not go to the gym per se to do resistance training. I do a lot of calisthenics. Actually, most of it is calisthenics work. I have a pull-up bar, a parallel bars. I have a box. Um, I have Olympic rings, and all of this stuff really it's it's at low cost as well. <clears throat> so if you're concerned, uh, if you plan on doing this in the future. Uh, to recover or to gain your strength um, it's really uh, probably a couple hundred dollars um, and you have all the tools that you need and really most of that stuff you can find at the house anyway um, you probably already have most of that stuff I mean you can just do push-ups you can do pull-ups and you can probably use chairs for the for the dips for the parallel bars so um, yeah you just got to be kind of creative about it but at any rate um, I, I would say more, the most important thing, I guess, is stability in your core, um, for your back stability and your core goes all the way around. So it's not necessarily abdominals, but it goes below your abdominals and it goes all the way around to your back. That is your core. And I believe, um, in order to recover and to stay healthy, Keep it from re-injuring your back your core is going to be essential make it bulletproof um, I work my core oh three times a week um, given you know my, my workload and kind of what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis but uh, another trick that I've done too not necessarily a trick but uh, try to avoid re-injury or just injury in general not necessarily re-injury is when I am because I got a lot of work today, I got to move all this gravel in the back. But um, I do my workouts after I do my work. OK, 
Okay, so whether that be at the office or I work in the field uh, typically and, and I do a lot of walking in New York. Um, and so whatever I'm doing, I come home, whatever I left reserved in the tank, that is what I'm using to, to work out. Now, when I work out, um, that way I can really focus on my form and my techniques on any exercise that I'm doing. Um, as opposed to working out before you're moving on this gravel, your body will you'll start getting lazy and your body will start kind of fatiguing and you'll start being lazy and you'll kind of bend over at the waist and, and so I just want to be smart about it as well. Um, once bitten, twice shy, I guess. But uh, yeah, so um, that's just something that I've kind of learned throughout the throughout my, my journey. But the core is going to be even more than stretching, I think your core is going to be essential. Um, and that's my plan for um, moving forward. So this is just a shout out to everybody. Thank you for the positive comments and uh, in your journey uh, through the, your surgery. And hope that you heal well and fast and recover smooth and well. One more thing before I end this, um, running. So how I ran, how I started to run is, so think of your back as a chain link and you removed one link and you put a new one, completely different one in. So that changes the entire chain. And that said, you're gonna have to condition your central nervous system to running if you plan to run. Um, and so it's going to feel uncomfortable. I remember at the six month mark uh, in particular, I was trying to run and I think I progressed a little too quickly or maybe I should have kind of ran through that uncomfortableness because I was very uncomfortable. Um, but knowing now, uh, knowing now, um, I, I know that it was just normal soreness and not necessarily um, re-injury. So, which leads me to another uh, fact is you stop working out, you haven't worked out in so long years literally not weeks or months but years and then you start working out again whatever that workout or physical activity might be and then you start feeling um, you start feeling sore well you kind of forget what normal soreness feels like and so you get scared and then you stop um, and I so I, you kind of have to proceed with caution but for me um, after I realized that it was just normal soreness, it really um, empowered me and I wanted to push myself just a little bit more because, you know, I, I realized that my, my shoulders were hurting and my legs were hurting as well as my, as my lower back because my muscles weren't there. Then when I started running, um, my back felt a little uncomfortable and that's because my sense your central nervous system is not prepared or the, um, it's not uh, conditioned to start running again. So basically what I did is I ran one mile until it wasn't uncomfortable anymore. And then it probably took me about two, two and a half weeks. And then I ran two miles regularly. It was like every other day or whatever um, for the next two or three or, you know, two, two and a half, three weeks. And then I just bumped it up to three, three miles, and I did that for two or three weeks, and just until I didn't, it, just until my back was not uncomfortable anymore. And then I just slowly progressed until it was, it was, it wasn't uncomfortable anymore. Certainly not my back, just you know, I, my my legs were certainly sore and and everything else, but not necessarily my back. I know I'm jumping around and I, I'm hard to follow at times, but um, I just got a lot of a lot of thoughts going on. And, um, I, try to organize those my thoughts as, as well as I can but at any rate I'm gonna wrap this up I hope I don't take too much time but um, hey uh, here's to a speedy recovery guys and um, I, I wish you well if you have any comments or questions please uh, feel free to comment thanks for watching